Top health experts are calling for changes to who can administer the vaccines. They want primary care physicians to be allowed to give the vaccine to their patients. Their argument, they know their patients best. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya is taking this issue in depth tonight. 25 years in practice, 15,000 patients and no doses of the vaccine. We have been submitting for COVID uh, since December. Uh, and we have not, so every week you have to put in your order, you put in your order, you put in your order, and we have not gotten a single vaccine. Doctors, county officials, and a member of the Western New York vaccination planning team say primary care physicians need to begin to distribute the COVID-19 vaccine. The big problem is no primary care physicians have gotten vaccine. And if you can send, if the state can send 100 doses to a pharmacy, they can send 100 doses to a to a doc who knows which patients need it. So I'm very disappointed that that whole distribution channel to physicians has not opened up. How would doctor's offices vaccinating help you at the county level? Doctors know their patients better than, than we would. Uh, doctors can prioritize their patients uh, easily. So I think to us, it just makes sense, uh, you know, to, to be able to get it to providers. They want it, they're asking for it. It's just uh, needs to get to them. I can't tell you uh, what the state's reasoning is for uh, only right now um, giving vaccine doses to um, uh, state sites and uh, county sites and uh, um, hospitals and federally qualified health centers and pharmacies. You know, that's uh, th their decision. Hopefully when we have more doses that are available to the state, they'll be able to provide more doses to community providers. What would be the advantages of you having doses of the vaccine to distribute? Well, you know the population, you know exactly the demographic. It's an easier process. We don't need all that craziness because all they have to do is sign a form. They're already in our database. So it just can't be, all right, so we'll get the National Guard to set up a vaccine. That's going to help in the beginning. But once you drill down, you're going to have a lot of appointments that are not going to get filled because people just don't feel comfortable and they need that extra step that a primary care doctor can provide. If the, the state does not start distributing vaccine doses to primary care physicians, could we hit a cap in how many people are willing to go to these mass vaccination sites? Yeah, I see that. I see that as a, as a problem that, that will develop. Uh, because again, if if, um, if you don't want the vaccine, I don't care what you put there, it's just not going to happen. And I think that's where we can really have a bigger impact. Dr. Raul Vasquez says the black and brown community is particularly hesitant to take the vaccine. And that's where doctors like him can help. According to an article in the Clinical Advisor, as of March 11th, the majority of patients who have received at least one dose of vaccine, 67% are white. Only 9% are Hispanic. 7% are black. I think primary care is the only real solution for that group. They want physicians to talk to them at their level and understand exactly why this vaccine is so important. Okay, Olivia, Dr. Vasquez clearly confident in the value add he and other physicians can bring to this vaccination effort. Actually, Ashley, Dr. Vasquez said just this past week he met with some patients who said they would not take the vaccine. And after an open conversation about their concerns, they changed their minds. Dr. Vasquez says it also helps that he looks like his patients. He says having a conversation about the vaccine with someone who looks like you is extremely beneficial in combating vaccine hesitancy. We certainly know representation matters. What does the state health department have to say about the idea of distributing vaccines to primary care physicians? So we reached out to the state health department. We're still waiting to hear back. Okay, Olivia Proya, thank you for your reporting tonight.